Let's talk about Ogdensburg, New York. I've lived in six different states, in big cities and small cities. Everywhere you go, there's good things or bad things you can focus on. In this video, I want to focus on some of the good things of Ogdensburg. Starting with the bridge and port. Ogdensburg is pretty lucky to have an international bridge to go to and fro on. Canada is a beautiful country to go visit. Ardensburg is also fortunate to have the port. Helps the county quite a bit. Offers jobs for everybody. I enjoyed getting this footage while they were remodeling the Greenbelt area. Still under construction with this shot, the Dubisky Center, the new park there, I got that when it was completed. They put a lot of hard work and effort into this. It shows. It's gorgeous now. It's really helped the community. Just look at how great that looks. The Augensburg Library has plenty of stuff to do. You just have to check out their Facebook page. And then across the street, obviously, is the Frederick Remington Art Museum. How can you forget the sunsets on the St. Lawrence River in Augensburg? They're just so pretty. Something new to do is the Augensburg History Museum. In case you didn't know about that. Then Augensburg just really does have pretty architecture. St. Mary's Cathedral. Then the pretty red brick of Notre Dame Tur Church. Then a kid's favorite is the Augensburg Boys and Girls Club. I spent many hours there playing basketball. Then there's the marina in Augensburg. which is also part of the Maple City Trail. You can see with that bridge right there. Good place for some summer fun. It's Hosmer's Marina. Get some fishing supplies, some grub. The city also refinished the seawall on the Oswegatchie. It was in pretty bad shape. Looks great now, though. Heard the old cheese factory is getting torn out. That's actually happening right now. And more of that architecture. I just love the city hall. I always think it's back to the future. You can see the golden dome of the high school. You got the centennial buildings. There's the high school, good old OFA, panning in on the right side. With Ogdensburg being the only city in St. Lawrence County, there's plenty of good high school sports to attend here at this facility. Just a gorgeous facility now. And it's also part of the Seaway Festival every year. They hold the Battle of the Bands there. Along with the Battle of the Bands, the Seaway Festival has a, has a pretty lengthy parade along with a bunch of other functions, not to mention fireworks. This year the fireworks actually had a little bit of help with a thunder and lightning storm. On the other side of town though, a lot of people that live in Ardensburg don't realize that this stone quarry is there. It's close to Medill School. Um, you can see the old United Helpers retirement home up there in the center. And the pit is there on the left. As I pan to the right, and you can see the Claxton Hepburn Hospital. And if anybody remembers the, the boat workers strike, that boat was sitting there anchored for a number of days. Just got some pretty fall colors there. The light was great that day. Speaking of the architecture, that post office has always been cool to look at. Almost finishing up with Fort De La presentation. Next to the Ardensburg's iconic lighthouse. Then 
Thanks for watching. Sit, tiny, sit. Good dog.